Are we live? <laughs> I think we are. Hey everyone, welcome to I Edit Your Photos. I'm so excited to be doing this. Just waiting for the chat to catch up. I think there's like a delay. <laughs> Hey, yay. Okay, it's working. <laughs> it's always so awkward starting a stream. Hi, guys. I have the chat down here, so if I'm looking down, that's why. Um, thank you so much to everyone who took their time to submit your photos. I love 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 the photos that you guys submitted there's some beautiful portraits landscape images animals i saw like squirrels so i'm very very excited to edit your photos today um i think that should show you the screen with me in it hey hey john branch I've got the chat on like the iPad. I'm still like getting used to it. I feel like it should be touch screen to be able to scroll through it, but I've got to move my mouse to it like another window. So can you guys see the screen Lightroom and myself? Hey, Chris, thanks for joining. Chris, by the way, did my logo design. You guys should check him out. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll through Lightroom. I've imported all the photos that you guys sent me. If you don't see your photo here, it's because there might've been an error in downloading it, but I tried to download everything that you guys sent me. <clears throat> so as you can see, each of the photos has a number. So if you see your photo, remember what number it is and let me know in the chat, cause I really wanna edit the photos like of you guys who are watching right now. So I'll just do a little scroll through all the images. My computer's lagging a little bit. Um, just a couple of rules. Please don't guilt me <laughs> into editing your photos. I'm very emotional. Um, I try my best to like get through as many photos as possible. And if I don't get through your edit today, then I do want to do these live streams maybe like every two weeks, just regularly throughout the rest of the year. And also please don't spam the chat as well, just to give everyone a chance to be able to talk and to have their number seen as well. You'll be put in a little timeout if you spam the chat. Dan is moderating the chat. Oh my God, my mouse is going to die. I'll have to move to my... Wacom tablet. <laughs> oh my God, it's so laggy, why? But yeah, there's so many cool photos. I love, there's like this cool Astro one. I reckon that would be fun to edit. And some like really creative shoots as well. I love this one. Did I scroll past the squirrel one? That one was so cute. <laughs> I hope you're here. I really want to edit that photo. Oh, there it is. The last one <laughs> in the batch. Okay. I'm just going to pick a random number. Um, 113. One thirty. Whoops. Too far. Damn. So many beautiful photos. I know, right? I was so excited downloading them. Also, like all your um, like messages in your emails were very cute. <clears throat> Excuse me, very sweet. I loved it. Okay, so this is by. Um, I'm very sorry if I don't pronounce your name correctly. Suv Suvrenil Suvrenil. All the names today will be pronounced with an Aussie accent, <laughs> um, and also. Uh, I've changed the file names to your Instagram handles. And if you don't have Instagram, I've just changed it to your name. So if you like the photo and you want to check out more of these of your work, you can go to their Instagram, which will be up here. And I'll leave the camera settings up as well, because I think it's cool to see what something was shot with. 
Um, and oh, so if you're submitting now, Dan is downloading some of those submissions in the background. So in like half an hour, I'll just do a little pause and we'll import more of the images that you guys are submitting. Okay, so this is a really cool picture. I feel like it needs to be warmed up. It's quite cold, but I like the golden hour look and that green lens flare is really cool. Is my screen brightness up? No. Okay, too much exposure. <laughs> that seems like so much work, downloading everyone's photos and renaming it. It is a lot of work. It's one of the reasons why I might be procrastinating this I Edit Your Photos series, but I had Dan's help in downloading the files this time, so we got through it a lot quicker. I think we had over 200 submissions. I'm going to add a little S curve. I feel like this needs some warmth. You guys will see in this I Edit Your Photos that I love using the blue curve to add like that golden hour look to photos. Why did you change your editing technique using clone stamp tool? Uh, ever since I started using frequency separation to retouch my portraits, I have used the clone stamp tool. I feel like it's better than the brush tool underneath the texture layer because, I don't know, the brush tool kind of, it's like one solid color, whereas the stamp tool changes its color depending where it's sampling from. And I'm going to try and make it a little bit more red-ish. I didn't see my number, but I saw my photo dog with the yellowish background. I like that. Love using frequency separation, but it takes so long. Yeah, it is a pretty time consuming process. I feel like the more you do it, like the faster it gets. Like sometimes I can retouch a portrait in like five minutes, not to flex. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like it does take a long time. It's worth it though. The results are really natural, but still look very beautiful. I feel like we need more reds in the shadows. And let's go for like a yellow highlight in the split turning. Do you guys like this new color grading tool in Lightroom? I feel like what if we add like a little light leak or something? And then like add a color yellow. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know, I feel like the the light leak from the lens needs to be like offset a little bit with like a yellow light leak. Um, okay, let me do a before and after of Suvranil's image. I'm sorry. <laughs> so there's the after and there's the before. It's a very pretty photo. Love my backlight. <laughs> Um, 59 would be cool. Okay, let's do image 59. 59. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so this photo is by Adina Imagery on Instagram. Um, you know, I got to do my matte blacks here because we have so much like darkness here in the background. I think it would look really cool. But I'm only going to do like a subtle curve because the lighting is already quite strong. So I don't want to overdo it. This is a really cool photo. You got my name correct. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I wonder if we could saturate the reds a little bit. I like, again, those light leaks are super cool. So if we just saturate them a bit, they'll stand out a little bit more, which I really like. Maybe I want to saturate the skin tones just a little bit as well. I don't know if we need to bring just slightly down the luminance. Just because, like, that little spot on her face is a bit bright. <clears throat> 
Mm, is it possible to move your face to the left side of the screen? Um, okay, hold on one sec. Is that better? Oh yeah, because I'm covering this adjustment panel, sorry. This is an incredible portrait. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, by the way, I started editing photos on my iPad with the pencil so much better and faster flow than working on a desktop laptop. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I love editing photos on the iPad. I do feel like I always have to finish my editing process on my computer though. So I'm always syncing the edits from my computer to my iPad and then finishing up on the computer. Ooh, a little bit of like magenta in the shadows there looks really cool. Again, accentuating those light leaks, but it's also very flattering for the skin tones as well to be a little bit in the pinky side. And then I might go a little bit warmer for the highlights. And that's a bit too green. <laughs> no, sometimes the color grading gets stuck on that line instead of moving around. That's really cool. Man, I don't really want to do too much to this photo because I love the way that it looks. Okay, let's see. That's the before. And that's the after. Actually, I really love that. Sometimes a simple edit is all you need. I like that her hair stands out a little bit more with the edit too. And I like the saturation on the skin as well. Okay. Let's do, I see number 35 for Black History Month. Let's do it. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love, oh. Green fields like this, so nice. And that's a really nice portrait too. Okay, so I am seeing there's like quite like a sh dark shadow on her face here. I'm wondering if we bring up the shadows. If we can just bring a little bit more detail back into the face there. I think that looks pretty good. And then because that kind of makes it look low contrast, I'm going to bring down the blacks to add some contrast. Color grading is so easy to tinker with on iPad, that pencil accuracy. Yeah, I feel like the tone curve is so much better on iPad as well. Here it's like super finicky um, having to move it around, whereas on the iPad it fills the whole screen and it's just smoother when you put the points down. Yeah, I feel like this one doesn't need the matte blacks. See, I can I can not edit with matte blacks sometimes. <laughs> it's hard for me, but... I feel like it's a little bit too green. I might bring up the pink slightly and maybe desaturate the green grass a little. I love her hair color too. So pretty. I might make the skin tones a little bit warmer by moving the orange hue. I watch your videos every day. I love even watching them back. Oh, thank you. I love making videos. <laughs> um, usually I start editing a photo by color grading it in Lightroom and then I go to Photoshop to retouch. So if I were to move this photo into Photoshop, I would um, get rid of this little leaf that's up here in the top corner. Ooh, a little bit of... Orange in the mid-tones is nice. In the shadows, I feel like we should do, yeah, like a green. It's kind of kind of has like a film look, which I really like. That's so pretty. Maybe some pinks. Give it the orange and teal look. <laughs> I might bring up that saturation. I feel like this photo suits being very vibrant, warm, happy. Um, I feel like the 
the skin tones might be a little bit too much now though. Okay, let's check it out. Oh wait, maybe a little less saturation, a little more vibrancy. Okay, so this photo is by Brandon's Bliss on Instagram. This is the before and this is the after. It's a very pretty photo. Can you speak Italian? No, I cannot. <laughs> I do speak a bit of Spanish. My accent is horrible because I don't really practice it a lot. Um, yeah. And I, I went to Italy with Dan a few years ago and my little bit of Spanish <laughs> got us by. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 138, please. Uh, oh, okay, and I'm going to do Christa, uh, Christopher's photo next, image 75. Okay, 138, 75. Cute. Okay, this photo is by Felhu00 on Instagram. I'm going to start by bringing down the exposure and just kind of balancing out the lighting in general in this photo. Your accent is perfect for saying boke. <laughs> Dan and I, we were, <laughs> we were joking around one day because I, I used to get a lot of comments about the way I say boke in my videos, but I feel like everyone's kind of gotten used to it now. But we were like, we should make a video where I have to talk about boke a lot. And every time I say boke, I need to say a different word completely like bouquet, bucket, Buki, <laughs> just as like a little joke. Maybe we should still do that. Okay, I feel like for this image, the greens are way vibrant. I might play around and maybe like make them a bit more orange, yellow. Give this image a bit of like an autumn-y feel. That's pretty. Espanol, saludos de Colombia. <laughs> Never been to Colombia before. I'm from, my parents are from Argentina and I went with my dad a few years ago to see my grandma and it was really nice. The food there, oh my God, we ate so much food while we were there. I don't think I've ever eaten so much in my life. Next time I'll join, but not sure if it will be good enough. There's no such thing as good enough or good or bad or anything. We're just having fun. So yeah, submit your photos. It doesn't need to be like anything in particular. Like I accept pet photos, sunset photos, tree photos, <laughs> anything. Um, have you Italian heritage? I'm, both my parents were born in Argentina, so I always say I'm Argentinian, but I think my great-great-grandfather was from Italy and my grandma was from Spain and then they moved to Argentina. So I do have a little bit of Italian heritage, but I didn't really grow up with it. And then I feel like we need a bit of an adjustment layer down here. Might bring down the exposure a little and warm it up in that bottom corner. <clears throat> Your multitasking skills are on point right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's really hard, like, reading, talking, editing. I'm glad you guys appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I need still a little, a little more warmth. I don't know. I like my warmth. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's got like a autumn kind of vibe, a little bit moody. So here's the before by Felho and here's the after. Okay, so next we have Chris Bryan's photo, number 75. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, 
pretty. So his simple puts on Instagram. And yeah, Chris did my branding. So he did my new Julia Trotty logo and the new digital film logo, which I need to upload today um, on my website. Love seeing all of the creativity. Yeah, I know. It's really cool having just like so many different styles of photos. Okay, this one, I'm going to give it my kind of edit. <laughs> into Lightroom in a moment. Okay, let's mount the whites a little bit because there is quite a lot of highlights up here. And I want to bring up the midtones just to brighten up the model's face. Okay, let's try bringing down the highlights. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of vignetting. Yes, but I will get rid of the distortion correction. I like distortion. Sue me. <laughs> okay, let's warm this up. What was this shot on the RF? So the R... Did you have an R5, Chris? Don't remember. Light flares are so tricky. Yeah, but they're really cool. <laughs> Actually, have all the images I've edited so far had light flares in them? Lens flares, sorry. Okay, let's bring up the blue so her skin tones don't look too yellow. And then for this one, I actually want to brighten up her eye slightly. So let's bring up the exposure, make the brush softer. Yeah. EOS R with the RF 28 to 70 F2. That lens is so beautiful. I love that lens. <laughs> Bring up the red slightly and the oranges and the yellows. No, no yellows. I love the green in the background. It's so pretty. Really enjoying this. Yay. How to, uh, how to know my photo number. Just down here, each of the thumbnails have a number. So as I scroll through, you'll be able to see your photo. I'm trying to pick photos that are in like the high numbers and then the low numbers so we can jump around and you guys have a chance to have a look. Okay, let's do something super warm for the shadows this time. Usually I always go for like a cold, like a cool colored shadow. But I think like orange or yellow would suit here. And then I'm going to go for a cool tone in the highlights. Am I? No. Let's do yellow. <laughs> you guys will see a theme. Such a beautiful airy shot. I know. It's so nice. Maybe like a purple mid-tones here. Okay. So now I feel like the skin tone is a little bit too pink. So let's just we'll bring up the hue of reds and orange a little bit more and maybe saturate the blues because her eyes were really blue and now they're not blue actually we can also use the adjustment brush i love doing this and do the iris enhance like that but i don't want any more exposure because we already did the exposure and maybe i'll just bring um the white balance down There we go, that's better. Now her eyes stand out a little bit more. So this is by Simple Ports on Instagram, Chris Bryan. Here is the original and here is the after. Very pink, soft and airy <laughs> kind of edit. Okay, I'm seeing number 167. And then 27. Okay, something in the 20s. 167, 27. Do you guys ever just like say, like repeat to yourself the same thing to try and memorize things? 160. Oh, snow. Oh, that's so cool. 
Okay, first things first, let's straighten this image up. That's cool. I wonder... Wait, it's still not straight. There? Is the Brooklyn Bridge crooked? Or the light pole? I think that's good. I love this splash of color. Oh my gosh. Actually, we need to have her in the center of the photo. I want that little bit in the shot. And then I'm wondering if with this tool, can we get rid of this? This is like a Photoshop job. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, well, just imagine in Photoshop we've stamped out <laughs> that security camera. What are you streaming on? I stream with OBS. Okay, we... The photo is quite warm, but I want to see if we can edit it to be quite moody and have the red really stand out in the photo. So, saturation, up, orange... Pink, purple, yellow? Yeah. <laughs> Can you speak French? Um, nope. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, we were watching Lupin on Netflix. I was going to say Instagram. On Netflix the other week. Oh, I just noticed that little bit of the building. Let me crop that in. Okay. Yeah, so now it's clean. <laughs> And that was a really good show. It was like the opposite of Sherlock Holmes. And we watched it in French with English subtitles just because I don't like it when the audio like overdubs don't match up with the lips. So yeah, we did that. And that was fun. Did you guys watch that? Are you still accepting images? Yeah, you can still submit. Dan should maybe be downloading in the background, I think. Yeah, let's go crazy with our curve. That looks so cool. By the way, when I say like, oh, that's so cool, that's so pretty, I'm not complimenting myself, but like the actual photo. The edit is only as good as the original photo. Okay, and then let's do blue. Yes, blue. Yeah, I really, really love these cold tones. And you can get blue with the red channel too, but I don't know. It's like a, it's such a cyan-y blue. I really like what it looks like. Maybe like a tiny bit in the shadows or maybe the highlights. Midtones. Yeah, let's do a little bit of these cyans here in the midtones. You could probably clone it out. My brush was set on heel. Oh, yeah, you're right, huh? Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah. I must have been like, what? Yeah, that's confusing sometimes. Oh, that's so much better. Let's try this as well. <laughs> Why does it want to keep sampling from the flag? No. And we'll do this little... Oh, it's not perfect, but when you zoom out, it looks good. So we get the idea. Do you understand Polish? Um, a very little amount. So in case you guys don't know, Dan is Polish and we go to Poland quite a lot. And his family over there, like the, like the older side of the family don't know how to speak English. So I have been trying to learn a bit of Polish, but it's like, it's a difficult language. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like I can understand a little bit. Oh, I'm too, I'm scared to go extreme, you know, I'm just, I have to go for it. America. <laughs> Can you edit with your new preset? Yeah, I wanted to do some edit from scratch and some with a preset as well. That's pretty. 
kind of has like an autumn look to the trees. Bringing the blue channel down. Oh, yes. Let's make that coat stand out. Okay. So this photo is by Esoteric Frame on Instagram. And this is the before and this is the after. Bit of an extreme creative edit, but I like it. It's fun doing that stuff sometimes. And yeah, I really like it without the security camera. That's super cool. Yay. <laughs> um uh okay i said 27 next oh i should scroll sorry i'll scroll slower nicely edited thank you oh that one's cute whoa i think it's windy outside it's like pushing <laughs> the window it scared me Oh, that one's cool too. Mm -mm -mm, 27. Oh, this one's cute. Uh, so this is by Tback X Heidi on Instagram. That's really nice. Let's see if we can bring the highlights down. I feel like we need just an adjustment layer here. Just to bring up the brightness a little. Um, how can I make you choose my submitted photo? If you just uh, let me know the number of your photo in the chat, I'll do my best to try and get through as many as possible today. Um, but please, like, don't get mad. I'm not ignoring anyone or anything on purpose. Just it's hard to, like, edit and do chat at the same time. And there's a lot of photos too. This is a really cool idea, live stream edits. I'm genuinely excited. Yay, I'm glad. I'm really excited too. These are really fun to do. And I feel like it's a bit challenging as well, having to edit like in so many different styles, but it's very fun. And I want this to be like a regular thing on my channel. Yeah, maybe let's do like vibrant for this photo. That's cool. So yeah, I was thinking we could do this like maybe every two weeks and because I'm doing it's 10 a.m. It's 10.30 a.m. now in Australia. Um, next time I might do the stream at night instead just because I know you guys submit photos from all over the world. So I want everyone to have a chance to have their photo edited. We want squirrel. I know that squirrel photo is so cute. Um, okay, greens, goodbye. <laughs> That looks so much nicer, like a little bit muted. I do love those yellows in the background though. That's really nice. And I really want to make that flower a bit more saturated. Do you reckon we can add another light leak to this one or is that too much? <laughs> I like that. Maybe... If we bring down the clarity and dehaze, a little bit dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> Gets excited about stuff. Uh, can you please show the numbers again? Okay, I'll do that when I finish this one. Okay, that's really nice there, a little pink mid-tones. Uh, oh, Tyler Tarbett, thank you so much for your donation. Thank you for your work. You've helped my photography a lot. My photo is 14, but if you can't get to it, that's okay. Okay, I'll do 14 next. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Orange for the shadows. And should we try and do like a cool color? Yeah, a little bit of cyan in the highlights there. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. So this is the before and this is the after. I'm really happy with that. 
I really like that light leak actually. That turned out really nice. Okay, let me do number 14 and then I'll scroll through all the images. And oh, this one's really cool. Why do I have two? Okay, I think this one is with your Instagram. So Tyler Tarbert underscore photography on Instagram. And I'll see if Dan's downloaded more pictures. More text. I'm also just waiting for my mouse to die. Do you guys have the Apple mouse? Do you know the charging port is down the bottom? I will never get over that. Okay, so I want to keep this one moody. I like the way it looks. Maybe highlights instead of exposure. I watch you for two months, but every day, and I really like your videos. Thanks for always making such good videos. I learn a lot from them. Oh, thank you. I'm really, yeah, I'm happy you guys like them. I'll keep making them if you keep watching them. <laughs> also, can I just take a moment to appreciate that you took a really straight photo out of camera? My photos are always so crooked. I don't know why <laughs> I always have to straighten up my photos when I edit them in Lightroom the apple mouse I know it sucks why is the charging port on the bottom okay it's tricky balancing out like the shadows with the very bright sky in the background Maybe if I bring the highlights down here That's cool. And then I feel like we need a bit more contrast. Do you reckon actually an adjustment layer would work? If we do a range mask for luminance. Yes. Okay. So now we can just edit the sky. Apple need to come up with a mouse pad that wirelessly charges the bottom of the magic mouse. <gasps> yes. <laughs> now there's a solution to all of our problems. I know. Imagine that if it was just charging as you're using it. Brilliant. Hey, do some blue. Yellow. Yellow. This slightly vibrant yellow. Oh, but I wanted to go moody for this photo. Green? Green is cool. Man, no color. I'm too into... Oh, that's nice. A pink. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Aga Saha, thank you so much for your donation. Hi, Julia. You've given me a lot of inspiration. My photo is one, two, three. <laughs> but if you can't get to it, that's totally fine. Thanks for this opportunity. I will give you a free cookie if you do 93. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Okay, I'll flick through all the um, thumbnails and then we'll edit one, two, three. Purple, bring the blue luminance down. Okay, I really want to saturate this up. Hawaii vibes in 170. I couldn't send my photo because of my poor connection. Um, please give us another day to try next time. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you keep an eye on my Instagram stories, I had posted like a week ago 
that the submissions were open so you can keep an eye out there but the live streams I like scheduling them like 12 hours beforehand but you can submit it now and Dan will download it or you can submit it now and it'll be in the next live stream instead let's go purple shadows okay I'm happy with what that looks like <laughs> I'm happy it continues editing. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool, like, LA vibes, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't know, something about, like, the that kind of gradient in the sky. So this photo is by Tyler Tarbert Photography. This is the original, and this is the after. Very cool. Okay, so let's do... I'll scroll through all the thumbnails again, and then I'll edit one, two, three. Hello from Bosnia. Don't stop creating your videos provide so much value to those learning a craft and thank you. I won't. I really enjoy making videos. I feel like it's like actually the most fun I've ever had with photography in my whole life. It's a very, it's a lot of work. <laughs> like you have to put a lot of yourself into it, but it's definitely worth it. She used a luminosity mask. Amazing tool. Yeah, I actually got that tip from another live. My hello. From another live stream that I did. And that has been like my favorite thing ever. It's really handy for that exact kind of picture where you have a super bright, solid colored background and a very dark like subject. I feel like that's when it works the best. But yeah, I use it a lot for my travel photos, especially if it's overcast weather and the sky is super plain. <laughs> that one's cool. I like that. Nathan Kim, thank you so much for donating. Hi, Julia. Love your content. <laughs> thank you. All right, let's do one, two, three. Is this a good time for you guys? Like, is it early, late? Good. <laughs> oh, that's a nice portrait. Um, I'm going to see if I can straighten up. It looks a little off Yes. I think new photos are not synced yet. Yeah, not yet. I messaged Dan. Are you watching Dan? Oh, yeah, he's texting me. Hello. One minute. There's another bunch in there. Okay, I'll edit this photo and then I'll download the new photos. Okay, so for this photo, I think... I really want to get her to stand out in the photo and have the background be quite dark. So I'm actually going to bring the shadows down, which is weird for me. I normally always bring the shadows up. But I like that. And then let's add an S curve. New photos, woo! <laughs> Three forty-four USA West Coast time. I'm hoping that's PM, right? <laughs> oh, that looks really cool, nice and contrasty. I actually just like it with the bottom half of the tone curve done. Making so many notes. You've taught me so much, Julia. So thankful. Would love to see what you do to my photo. 153. I used one of your presets to edit, but curious to see what you would do to it. Awesome. 153. 153. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. We got to do some preset edits too. Okay. I want to saturate the skin tones a little and the reds too. 
just to make like her lips a little bit more saturated. And then in luminance, I want to bring uh, the luminance of her top down. Just so it's, I think a light just turned off. And I want to saturate the top as well. Just doing blue. Green, please. <laughs> oh, I like those little pops of green <laughs> in the background with the yellow slider. I actually want to bring the saturation of the jeans down. Yeah, I think a nice natural looking at it for this is nice. Nope. These primary colors are really funky to deal with sometimes. Bring that down a little. Okay, I'm happy with that. There's no way the clone tool would get this, would it? That's a Photoshop job, I'm assuming. We may as well try. I feel like it would look really nice without that pole there, so let's just see. Let's see what Lightroom can do. Kind of. No, no. <laughs> I tried. Daniel Trotty, my dad, thank you for donating. <laughs> uh, okay, so here, oh, no, no, wait, one more thing. Uh, I feel like the jeans could still be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to bring the exposure down there. And then in Photoshop, I would use the stamp tool to just remove the little pole. But here is the, this is by Argus Photos. Here is the original and here is the after. Just a nice natural edit because it's a very beautiful portrait. Your dad is the cutest I know. <laughs> Love that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna switch it to me and then I'm gonna download, import the rest of the photos. That's so cute that your dad supports you. Yeah, he's always like watching and commenting on my videos. It's very nice, thank you, dad. <laughs> Folder three. Mine's a Fuji film. That's so sweet that your dad tunes in and supports you. <laughs> How is Evie doing? She is so cute. She is great. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> Dan and I ordered a new mattress, which arrived yesterday and it was amazing. It was like the best night's sleep I had. Oh, flamingos. <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted by a photo. Um, yeah, it was like the best night's sleep I had in a long time. And it turns out Evie really enjoyed it as well. <laughs> Normally she wakes up when I wake up. So I got up at 7 a.m. and she didn't get up. <laughs> she just looks super sleepy in bed. She didn't get up till 10 a.m. So I think the mattress is approved by Evie. <laughs> she loves it. Um, okay, screen plus me. Oh, no, they're going to be all out of order. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll scroll through them again and I'll read some comments. Wait, can I sort by... Why is that stuck? How do you sort by? Develop? No. Mm. Hello? Let me cancel that. Why did that get stuck? 
Hello, everyone. <laughs> Did some skip? Yeah. Maybe it was like doubles. That was weird. Okay. Now you're gonna import Lightroom, thank you. <laughs> oh, filter? How do you sort by import date? Can you do that? Oh, here? I don't know. You are soup. <laughs> That's a compliment. I mean, I do love soup. There are some sorting options under the develop tab. Uh, <laughs> where? How do you even Lightroom? I don't... Do I have to add them all to a collection maybe? Because I want them to stay in the, the order that they're in. So you guys that have seen your photo. On the left side, I think you can sort. Mm -mm. in any of you click the icon at the lower left corner of lightroom to bring up the sorting options lower left this one this one this one oh am i missing something <laughs> what is going on Whatever comes to mind. Thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> Fart booty. What does that mean? Just edit something. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, forget the sorting options. Let's just, I'll just scroll through again so we can have a look. In my Lightroom, it's upper left of the little thumbnails. That's so weird. I just, I normally have like a sorting option. It's just not here today. I'll figure it out. So next time when we import more images, it doesn't do this. Oh, why is it lagging? <laughs> Do 179 or the bucket gods are mad. Okay. I must please the bucket gods. Okay, I'm gonna scroll this way. I think it's less laggy. 179. 179, 179. <laughs> Do you have, oh yes! I am so excited to edit this video. <laughs> uh, oh, Mitch Lally, loving the stream, Julia. Missing you guys heaps. Can't wait for you to come back to visit and shoot soon. Yeah, it's our turn to come to Queensland and visit you. You guys should check out Mitch Lally's channel. He's got an awesome channel all about photography just like mine and he's got a really beautiful um photography style as well which i really love and we did a collab video on my channel and his channel check it out uh whatever comes to mind i ran out of money oh don't donate if like that's all the money you have please but thank you um this photo is gorgeous oh it's a 35 mil photo of course that's why i love it so much 
Um, that's the, oh, the Canon 35, the Mark II. I love that lens. But look, it's, it does have like that little lens flare that's always bothered me. Even with like a lens hood, I would still get a crazy lens flare on that lens. But it is beautiful. Like it's super sharp. Oh, it's so cute. I love him. Okay, let's warm it up. Oh gosh, no dog pictures, please. Why? You don't like dogs? I love dogs. I gotta say, guys, no one submitted any cat photos. <laughs> I was really looking forward to seeing some of your cats. Love the idea of editing images in live mode. Cheers from Frank Pally Photography. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like this is really fun and I get a chance to like hang out with you guys and edit pictures. <laughs> like, it's fun. Um, yeah, let's light leak this up because that's very pretty sunshine. I should have slipped an image of Evie. Yeah, you should have done <laughs> next time. Oh, do we go for the crazy light leak or I think the more subtle one. And then I will on oh, actually no, I like the sharp bokeh, maybe some dehaze. Make it a little bit a little bit wider. That's cute. Wow, that's such a nice picture. It's beautiful. Uh, whatever comes to mind, thank you again for your donation. I used to take pictures of cars only, but because of your channel, I now do portraits. My clients like them and I love to see the smile on their faces. I know, isn't that it? one of the best parts of doing portrait photography is when you show the person that photo and you get to see their reaction. It's It's a nice moment. It's a nice feeling. Oh, this dog is too much. He's so cute. Oh, my mouse died. <laughs> IV202, thanks for all your great content. Thank you for donating and for watching and sending your photo as well. I really appreciate it. Let's go Wacom tablet. The only problem with the Wacom is that I can't scroll. And my chair is a bit funny for it. I have to see it like sideways. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love this picture. <laughs> All right. We're going to be adding this photo <laughs> for the rest of the live stream. Oh, I think that's good. I like the little natural edit. And wow, the color grading made a really big difference. Sometimes you're like editing and you're doing like the tiniest little things and you're like, oh my God, this isn't even changing anything. And then you look at the before and after and you're like, wow, <laughs> actually did a lot. Okay. So this photo is by Phil, Phil Jelena's, Phil, Gil, Phil Jelena's photos <laughs> on Instagram. Um, everyone's Instagram is up here in the file name. This is the original and this is the after. Alfred Reyes, thank you so much for donating. Been following your work for a long time and your style has inspired my work. Thank you. My photo is 83 and my friend Emma, who's in it, is a big fan. That's sweet. Okay, 83. I think I said another number before, but I can't remember. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. The Wacom issues. Oh, this one's really cool. So the Instagram is dasman10. And this one, we're going to have to get funky with it. Uh, 
all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's go big curve. <laughs> so I want it to be like moody, you know? I'm off, Julia. More branding work is calling. Have an amazing day and I can't wait to work with you some more on our future projects. You're the best. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for joining and submitting your photo too. I'll chat to you later. <laughs> Let's go blue. Oh, no. I promise I'll charge my mouse <laughs> next time. How annoying. That's cool. Okay, I want to get rid of the... It's like a bright blue thing, like light on the forehead. And then bring down the luminance of blue as well. Do I need to super chat for an edit? No, no, you don't. Blue. I love you, Julia. <laughs> That's very sweet. I don't think that is their photo. 83. Did I get the wrong one? It's a cool photo, though. Yeah, I'm going to bump up that motion blur saturation in the middle. Okay, this one needs, I think, like, a dark blue here in the shadows, purpley blue. And the highlights, I like the magenta. <laughs> so, do you guys do this too? You just move your mouse around the whole circle and just see what every single color looks like. I like that green. It kind of offsets the blue a little bit, which looks nice. You guys are trying to trick me. <laughs> I like that. I wonder, I kind of feel like chopping, cropping out, chopping out the arms. <laughs> just there. I feel like, I, like maybe just the face is cool composition. Yeah, because then you got like more attention here on the face. So this photo is by Dasman10 and here is the before and here is the after. Oh, I love that. It's got like a neon kind of vibe to it. Um, Aisha Daniel, thank you for your donation. Love your work. Inspired me to use manual mode. My photo used to be 170. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't scroll over to the next page. But I think it changed. I think that's what it said. Dan, can you find out maybe which photo that is? I have to, sorry, I have to turn off settings. My screen from turning off so I can see Dan's messages because he's also taking a look at the, the chat as well and letting me know stuff that I missed. Oh my god, do you ever forget how to read? Display and brightness. Auto lock off. Okay, so now we're gonna do number 202. <laughs> Where is it? They're in order. Ooh. This photo is by Jonathan Senecal. Is that how you pronounce it? This is so cool. I need to zoom in. <gasps> wow. Love the sharpness. Look at her eyelashes. They're amazing. Um, yeah, all the submission details are in the description of this video. Also, if I'm editing your photo, you can, um, 
put an Instagram story and tag me in it so I can share it later when I finish live streaming to my story as well. Um, I like seeing you guys sharing that stuff. Okay, what are we going to do? Oh, a boy named Jamil. Thank you so much for donating. Uh, Julia, please, what is the name of the recorder you use to record your EVF during your videos? I use an Exun. But to be honest, I don't really say what it is. I don't recommend it that much. We had a lot of issues with it and it's not very clear when it like transfers the images. If you want to use it like to be able, sorry, I'm going to edit while I'm talking, um, to be able to, what's it called when you're like shooting live and your client is looking at your photos, I would recommend definitely using an Atomos, in, an Atmos instead just because the connection is so much clearer and easier for people to see. My screen recorder is a bit dodgy. Um, ooh, okay. So this photo has very bright and very, very dark um, tones, which is going to be tricky to balance out. Do I want to matte the whites? No, probably not. Uh, what was your first photo camera and do you recommend the Sony a7c? Yeah, I really like the a7c. I just uploaded a video actually showing how I have it all set up and what my favorite focus settings were. I don't know. Did you guys like not, were not interested in that video? I feel like no one really wanted to watch it. Um, but yeah, I really like it as a photo and video camera. I wouldn't use it for like a wedding, for example, because it only has a single card slot, but I do use it for like portrait photo shoots and also I kind of want her face to be in the center and also vlogging as well. Like just making videos and videos for my Instagram and stuff like that. So yeah, I really like it. And my first camera was actually my family's point and shoot camera. Like a long, long time ago it was like, I don't know, maybe like a two megapixel <laughs> camera. And my first like, proper camera was a Pentax. It's a Kota K100D. It was a digital camera and with a kit lens. And I actually uploaded a video doing a photo shoot with it like two years ago on my YouTube channel. So if you want to see me doing that, check it out. I think it's called like photo shoot on my first ever camera or something. But yeah, that was a fun experience. There was like no buffer. I could take three photos and then I had to wait like a minute <laughs> um for the buffer to like reset so I could keep shooting the LCD screen is so bad you can only look at it from one angle um otherwise how do I delete otherwise like the whole LCD screen would go like green and it also took only four double a batteries so and it didn't even last the whole shoot and we shot for like 15 minutes and the camera died <laughs> so yeah that was fun this is cool. I like this picture. So I think actually I'm going to darken like this area of the face. Just there. And then I want to do the iris enhance to her eyes here. And another one, I also want to bring up the exposure slightly on her eyes to make them stand out. Just because they're like right under the hood, it's like causing a shadow just over her eyes. Just a little bit. And then maybe I can bring the highlights back so it's not so matte. Okay, and now let's add some warmth into his skin and I want like purpley for the shadows here. And I'm seeing there's like a green past. Bring that up. Yes, 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 yes. Hello from Brooklyn. 
I've been to Brooklyn before. It was really nice. Hope you guys are all doing well. Okay. I love that. So this photo is by Jonathan Senegal. This is the before and this is the after. Love it. Um, the next photo I'm going to edit is, I did 83. I need to move this back. My hand's like hanging off the table. <laughs> oh my God, the chat's moving so fast. Um, okay, 66, please. Love your photos. Cheers from Portugal. What, what? 66, okay. <laughs> Before it disappears. Maybe we can do some preset edits. Uh, Haley Flanagan, thank you for your donation. Need to go to bed now, midnight in Scotland, but if you want to edit my pic of a rainy Edinburgh day, 180, I'll be watching this in the morning. Okay, I'll edit it next. 66. Ooh. Yeah, let's do a preset. I love this. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to do just one. So this is with the Earthy preset. This is by Joda Photo Three on Instagram. Love that with a seventy to three hundred millimeter lens. I've been using the Earthy pack for a lot of things. Actually, I like that the green is nice. Um, do you guys mind if I do some preset edits? Because that way we can get through a few more, and you can see. Uh, what it looks like. 97 with any of your presets. Okay, let's do that quickly. Ooh, okay. This is going to need a preset, but also some adjustment brush. Let's see. Earthy one. I'll bring up the highlights. She kind of stands out a little bit more. Love that. That's a really cool photo. It's such a nice portrait of her. And then with my adjustment brush, I just want to brush over. There's like quite a big shadow across her face up here. So if I do that and then just bring up the exposure and just add a little bit more contrast by bringing the blacks back down. That's so pretty. And also I would crop it just so her face is in the center of the frame. I love my center framing. It's so good. That's pretty. Um, next we have 180. <laughs> I'll try and scroll a little bit less like janky. 180. Oh, that one's so cool. Oh, that's in London. <laughs> Is that in London? I said it with confidence and then I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not really sure. This is by Haley Flanagan Photo. Oh no, Edinburgh. Sorry, you just said that in the chat. <laughs> by the way, um, by Haley Flanagan Photography on Instagram. This is a beautiful photo. Oh my gosh. I think I, w I jumped to London because. Oh, now they're all closed. I took a photo like this when we were in London with Dan, and there's just, I don't know how to explain it, but the blue hour in the city of. Edinburgh, London has like this really magical feel to it, um, which you captured in this photo. So I'm going to actually start with the lens correction and get rid of that, a little bit of the vignetting. So I just feel like it was a little bit too strong for my liking. Okay, let's do a curve. Definitely want to go for the blue look with this one and really saturate oranges and reds. I think that'll look nice. Nice. Um, I saw someone, oh, I didn't know if that was for Canon or Sony, but if I could do reviews for cheaper 35 mil lenses, I did one, I used the, the new Samyang 35 1.8 and I have a photo shoot of that on the A7C. And that's a budget 35. And I also, uh, oh, Tyler Tarbett, thank you for donating. 
Question, do you still find a place for the A6600 in your workflow with the A7C being so small and full frame, it's hard to see the need for both? Um, I never owned a A6600, but I do see your dilemma in having both those cameras be quite similar. I guess it really depends like what you need it for. For me with vlogging, I would prefer to use the a7C because it's full frame and that way I can use wider angle lenses because I've got like weak, shaky arms when I'm holding up a vlog camera. So I prefer little lenses that are wide angle. Whereas with a crop frame camera, it could be helpful if you do, you know, if you need that little bit of extra reach in your photography, depending what kind of like photo or video that you do. They're both really strong cameras. I think it really depends on I have a hair in my eyelash. It really depends on uh, what you need it for, in my opinion. Um, and then budget 35. I also did a shoot with the RF 35. Is it a 1.8, I think? Which I'm working on and it'll be out on my channel really soon. But spoiler, it's a really nice lens. Okay, mid-tones. I want... I think like let's go like reddish and then shadows will go blue and let's bring back those mid-tones actually I think it's the highlights that I want in the red rather than the mid-tones oh my god there's just a hair <laughs> she just keeps getting in my eye Purpley. Ricardo Durand, thank you for donating. Love your presets. Thank you for all you do for us beginner photographers. My photo is 21 if you get a chance. I'm going to write it down because my brain is starting to not function. <laughs> thank you so much. That's very sweet. And yeah, I wrote it down so we'll get to yours soon. Okay, calibration. What, what? Do you guys have like a favorite lens that you shoot with? Are we all like in the 35 gang here or let me know in the chat what you guys like shooting with. Okay, the blue, I think we need some of those cyan blues in the in the shadows of this photo. Eighty five one point four fifty five Zeiss. Oh, I have a video with the fifty five Zeiss coming. Or is it a Sony lens? But yeah, I finally, finally had the chance to use it, and it's really nice. It's actually a comparison video between um, between the fifty and the fifty five. I need to have a sip of water. I'm hitting a wall. 30 on crop frame is so nice. I use 35, but I want to get an 85. Yeah, 35 and 85 together is like my perfect favorite combination of prime lenses. Sigma 56 1.4. I love it for my A6400. You're doing amazing, Julia. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Just tagged you on IG. I love, I love when I finish a stream and I go to IG and I get to see all your perspectives <laughs> of watching the live stream. It's super fun. Uh, do you plan on doing a review of the Sigma 35 F2? Yeah, I would love to. Um, photo 128. I'm going to write it down. 128. Okay. We're back. So this photo is just, it's too blue, you know? Got to turn it down. Can't just make everything blue. <laughs> oh my God. I'm dying with this tablet. I want my mouse back. Okay, a little bit of green. 
So we'll bring the tint up into the pinks a little bit more. Okay, that's looking so much better. Sometimes all you need to do is drink some water and everything will be okay. Yeah, I like that with the pink and the blue. I love getting to edit photos um, like with different split toning that I wouldn't normally use, if that makes sense. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then a little bit more pinks in the shadows tint. I'll saturate the reds and the green primary. Okay. I like that. So this is by Haley Flanagan of A Rainy Evening in Edinburgh. This is the before and this is the after. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it is 105 now, not 83. Okay. Oh my god, I like just caught that in the chat as it disappeared. 105. <gasps> this one! I love this one. Okay, so this photo is by Logata Strokes on Instagram. This is a really nice portrait. I love um, portraits taken in like direct, harsh sunlight. They're so pretty. This also looks like Europe, maybe? I'm going to bring up the warmth a little. And there's actually quite, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> there's like quite a green tint to the photo. So I'm going to bring the pinks up very high as well. I have the Amalfi presets and I love them. Thank you. One, 17. Um, yeah, I love them too. I have to stop myself from using it because it's like one of my favorite presets. <laughs> now I'm obsessed with like the earthy pack. I feel like it just suits so much. Like you can see it there in the top left-hand corner just as I scroll through. There's so many cool options. Nice. Okay, I'm going to bring the highlights down, the shadows up. Mm, let's not do a blue curve. <laughs> I feel like I did the blue curve for like all the images. Let's just stick to the color grading instead. So for the midtones, I like to focus on the skin tone. So I'll probably do quite a warm orange. And then in the shadows, I'm gonna go for like a purple. And then highlights, I think I'll just leave on nothing. Will I? Maybe like a little, like the tiniest bit of yellow. So then here I'll bring the tint up into the pinks a little. Gorgeous portrait. Yeah, it's really nice. Hello. Hi. Hello. Did you need a mask? I do. <laughs> Why did Apple decide to put the charging port on the bottom? They're idiots. <laughs> Okay, and then I think I need to bring the saturation down slightly. Yeah, that's really nice and warm. Yeah, I like that. Could even do with slightly less shadows too. Okay. So this is by Logata Strokes, and this is the original, and this is the after. Beautiful portrait. I love the eyes. You could also do the iris in hands here as well. Oh, Midnight Adventures. Thank you for donating. Can you talk about your decision to start a YouTube channel? Was it awkward talking to a camera in the beginning? <laughs> yeah. Also, my photo is 5354 landscape pic. Cool. Let me write that down, and then I'll talk.
Oh, yes. Okay. I'm back in a mouse. Thank you. Do you want to say hello? Hello. I'll jump back into the chat. He's moderating. Oh, it's not on Iris and Hands. Iris. Yeah, I love that little Iris and Hands. It really helps sometimes. Um, okay, so 128. Ooh, that's cool. Let me start by straightening it, straightening it up. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so I decided to start a YouTube channel because I was doing wedding photography full time, which I love and it's super fun, but I did feel like I needed something else to like fill in my time during the week. So it was, you know, wedding photography is typically on the weekends and then you'd just be editing wedding photos throughout the week. And I was like, I feel like. I've always gotten a lot of questions about like my photography and stuff on social media because I've been posting to social media for such a long time. And I was like, oh, I really want to start a YouTube channel. It's like always something I've been interested in, but I've always been way too nervous to talk to the camera. Maybe Aspen. My Aspen preset looks cool for that. How do I do that? There we go. I might just need to bring up the warmth slightly. And then I'm going to add an adjustment layer and bring down the exposure on the bottom half of the photo. Yeah, so I was always, I was too nervous to like talk to the camera and my sister and I were going to the US on a trip, like just a holiday. So this photo is by Dale Behind Lenses. This is the before and this is the after with my Aspen Lightroom preset. And I was like, oh, let's film a vlog because that would be a cool way to like practice <laughs> talking to the camera and we're doing something fun. So it's like not really any pressure and it's just kind of for us because I didn't have any subscribers back then. And so that's just kind of how it started. And we spent two weeks in the US. We were in LA for a week going to theme parks and one week in Washington doing like road trips and hikes and things like that um, and vlogging like every single day. I'm going to do 117 and then I'll do 53. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that location. Uh, Armando Pozzo Photography, thank you for donating. Love all your videos. You inspire me so much in my photos. Got my first wedding offer. Oh, this week. Congrats. My photo is 199. That's exciting. Okay, so this one, oh, bluebells looks quite cool. I feel like this is, oh, this is a JPEG photo, so I'm actually going to bring down the sharpening. If you guys have my presets, you, you would know I love my sharpening. I'm going to bring down the exposure a little and maybe bring up the white balance slightly. And also the shadows, just so we have some more contrast. That's nice. So this is with my Bluebells preset and this photo is by kylo.ren underscore 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 on Instagram. And this is the original and this is the after. Yeah, I like Bluebells because it's like a blue and moody preset. So it really suits like that style of photos. I'm going to sleep, but I'll be back live tomorrow for sure. Good night. Thank you so much for joining. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, so I feel like I gained a bit of confidence talking to a camera while filming those flun, fun, flun, <laughs> fun vlogs for ourselves. And then I was like to Dan, I was like, let's just do it. Let's just give it a go, see how it goes. And yeah, the rest is all on my YouTube channel. If you guys want to watch, you can switch to uploaded like old, by oldest. <laughs> and you can see I used to be very like nervous talking to the camera. Like, I don't know been fun i think it's the best decision i ever made actually i'm very happy making youtube videos letting your fan down by not doing 118 um oh another snowy picture 
Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Please don't guilt me into editing photos, guys. <laughs> Does your sister have a channel too? No, she doesn't have a channel. My photo is 23. We're at it. But yeah, those vlogs are still up on my channel if you guys want to watch them. It was, um, I actually, I still watch them back every now and then. So does my sister because it's just like fun memories. But it was our trip to Washington. We went to so many national parks and we, we did so much driving. Oh my gosh, it was worth it. Oh, that's nice. I like the blue on the on the trees in the background. I'm going to do an adjustment layer for the road. Change it back to temperature. Bring down that. And the shadows. I don't have super chat to reach you. Do one, three, two, please. Okay, I'll write that down. I've got, <laughs> I've got a little list of numbers. I'm gonna make the reds a little bit more like purpley looking. Okay. Oh, and I'll saturate the yellows. Too much. <laughs> okay, I like that. So this photo is by Christina Georgescu. <laughs> Georgescu. I don't know. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce your name correctly. Um, here's the original and here is the after. I love, oh my God, I love like her facial expression and her pose is like such attitude to it. It looks really cool. I love it. Yeah, the edit's like fresh with like the super blue trees in the background. Uh, so next I have uh, 53 and 54. I'll just pick one though. Ooh. Uh, okay, I'll do this one. Midnight X Adventures on Instagram. Oh, I could do a preset, but I feel like... Oh, that looks cool with a mouthy. <laughs> Everything looks cool with a mouthy. But I feel like there's a lot of colors and things going on, so let's just edit this from scratch. So let's do a contrasty edit without, like, the matte blacks going on that I do all the time. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I love this photo. There's like so many layers. <laughs> Every time I say the word layers, I think about Shrek and Donkey with their onions and layers talk. Does anyone else do that? <laughs> Donkeys don't have layers. That's really nice. Do you know what I wish you could do? So you know how you've got this and it just comes down from one side. I wish you could have the same gradient that you have in Photoshop where it's like um, it only gradients like this inside bit and then it gradients out to nothing on the top and bottom. Does that make sense? That would come in so handy unless you can do that and I just don't know how. But I would add one of those gradients here to the center of the image. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I could just use a brush. Um, Kelsey Gilchrist, thank you for donating. I submitted my photo 33 because this is the one I practiced with when you taught split toning. Would love to see how you split tone if possible. Yeah, let's do 33 and also, oh, Steven, Steven Boski. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. It's nice to see you here. Hey, Julia, just got off work and ran to my car to catch this 40, please. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so I could just use a brush. <laughs> That's what I was. But like, honestly, one of these tools would be really handy as well. So I feel like this center bit could have a little bit more contrast. 
a little bit more contrast. Some more warmth. And then I'll just do one more here with just a little bit of... I like the blue. If we do like a full on kind of gradient, like blue to green to like warm down the bottom. That's nice. No, come back. Just want to bring the black slider down on this one. And then I'll add a little gradient here. I feel like this we could uh, maybe do with less clarity. And I'll bring down the exposure, highlights, shadows, warmth. Yeah, that's looking cool. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do like a greeny look for this one. You tell I'm, I'm concentrating now. I like that warm look with the reds here. And then we'll balance it out with some cyan highlights. Yeah. Okay. So this photo is by Midnight Adventures. Here we have the before and here we have the after. I love it. I love all the layers. <laughs> Donkeys don't have layers. Um, let's do 40. Because Steven is very busy. <gasps> yeah, this is a cool one. Wait, Bethany Rachel? That's not correct, is it? Maybe the wrong number? Did I get the wrong number from you, Steven? Um, okay, let's do number 33. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Look at him. Okay, this one is definitely gonna, I'm gonna use some adjustment layers for this. Okay, so to start with, I'm gonna crop out this down here in the bottom. And I'm gonna crop this here a little bit as well. There's a lot going on in this image in terms of like lines and stuff. So I want to minimize as many of them as possible. So I like that the bottom half of the image is just like these blocks, I think looks really cool. And okay, I like that. So let's bring down the exposure. Okay, so for this photo, for the colors, I'm going to go for like a natural look. So I'm going to add a bit of warmth and just keep it quite vibrant-ish warm looking. Uh, sorting, it's in the library. Hit the letter T for the toolbar. The toolbar. I always have that hidden because it annoys me. <laughs> That's where the sorting options are. Um, would you guys want me to sort it by import date or have you like memorized <laughs> your number now? Let me know in the chat what you guys prefer me to do. Okay, now I'm going to turn down these greens here because they're quite vibrant. I feel like if we saturate those reds, it would look really cool. And I'm going to change the hue of these poles so they look more red. I don't know. That color just looks really nice. <laughs> okay. So I'm happy with the colors of that. Now I want to use some adjustment layers and just kind of bring in some more attention to the dog. To the doggy. 
I prefer you to keep going by our memorized numbers. Already memorized. Keep it. Keep them. Okay. Okay, I'll keep it. Um, but next time, I'll before I start the live stream, like I'll open Lightroom and I'll just order them correctly. Because, yeah, I want to be able to keep importing images as people submit them. But not if it's going to mess up the whole order of everything. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then I'll do another adjustment layer here. Bit too extreme. Maybe bring the highlights down. And then I will use the brush. Just this little area here is super bright. Just bring that down and a little bit of the saturation down. Bit of warmth. Oh no, too much saturation. Okay, wait. Okay. Nice. Okay, so this photo is by Kels Gilly on Instagram. This is the original uh, without the cropping. And then this is the after. This is a really cool picture. Uh, oh, okay. So Stephen, Dan found your photo. I'm just going to edit Stephen's photo quickly. This one. And then I'll do a few now after this one with some presets so we can get through a few more images. This is a beautiful portrait. I feel like I need to kind of straighten it up a little. There. Actually, I'm going to start with this here. So I'm going to bring down the highlights. I really love how you've got like just the light on one eye and then the shadow on the other half of the face. The real cin cin cinema. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. Can you edit 84? Here's the love of my life. Your aesthetics are amazing. It is a joy to watch your videos. Thank you. Yes, I'll add it to the list. Um, I'll do some non super chat ones next because I feel bad. I want everyone to have a chance, of course. And then I'll do 84. Okay, let's add a tone curve. I always find it um, tricky to edit photos that don't have a lot of color in them. I don't know if you guys ever feel the same way. I feel more comfortable editing like colorful images. <laughs> so it's fun getting to edit some different um, styles. Actually, I don't know if you guys remember the GFX photo shoot that I did at the beach. I uploaded that. I think that was the first video I uploaded this year. I can't remember. But that one was tricky to edit because it was like no colors. She was wearing a white dress. She had like orangey red hair, which was cool. But everything else was just so desaturated. It was really hard to like figure out what to do. But I'm happy with how they ended up. Yeah, I feel like there's still a little bit of a greenish tinge. That's cool. I'm going to bring up the saturation of oranges a little bit. Just so her skin tone stands out a little more. And I might bring the yellow saturation down slightly. Not because of her hair, but there's like a slight yellow kind of tinge to like the location. I feel like it looks a bit nicer when it's desaturated, it like brings more attention to her face. And I'll get rid of some greens too. Okay, let's add a tone curve. I always bring the blue highlights of the tone curve back up just so skin tones don't look super yellow. But I like the warmth that the blue channel adds. 
that's pretty okay and then i'm gonna get rid of some more greens again but yeah i feel like when i edit a desaturated image i like to add color with the tone curve and the color grading as well That's cool. That's giving it like a, it looks like an old style movie kind of feeling. Yeah, and a little bit of warmth here in the shadows. Let me see if I want to do anything with the midtones. That, that yellow looks really nice. That's so pretty. A little bit more pinks. Okay, I'm happy with that. So this photo is by Photographs by Steven on Instagram, and this is the original, and this is the after. That's a very pretty photo. I love it. Uh, could you do 95 next, please? Let's hear it for my non-binary best friend. 95, 95. Nice. Oh, there's some good colors here. Oh, I'm going to start off by removing this person in the background. <laughs> ah. The clone tool in Lightroom is funny sometimes. What is that? <laughs> Okay, I need to like feather that a bit. I don't know. Is it just me or is that no? Okay. Um, so again, that's something I would definitely do in Photoshop. <laughs> I have so much trouble with this clone stamp tool in Lightroom. Oh my god. Okay, what do I want to do for this? Um, I think let's accentuate like the autumn look. Bring up the shadows. Would cropping it out be an option? Yeah, we could do that actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to matte the highlights or the whites on this one a little. Love that. Bring up the white balance a little. Actually, I like it where it was. I still don't get why the Lightroom clone tool is so bad compared to Photoshop. Yeah, it's really annoying. It's good, like, if you have, like, a single thing in a very plain kind of background but as soon as there's other stuff going on Lightroom's just like nah <laughs> I can't do it so with the hue let's make this like an autumn scene Mm-hmm. love that I'm gonna saturate the yellows for, for the scarf because that scarf is really cool and the orange slightly too and the reds no, not the reds. Beautiful person right there. Yeah. Let's bring up the yellows and the greens. I feel like we could do more autumn. Okay. Every time I do something in calibration, it's always important to go back and adjust the skin tones because calibration kind of affects like everything in the photo and we don't want them skin tones looking funny so i feel like when it needs to go back into like kind of more pink area and a little bit more orange and always looking at the before and after really helps just to make sure you haven't pushed it too far
Okay, let's go a little bit yellow for the midtones. Going to really accentuate that warm kind of autumn feeling to this one. And a little bit of purple for the shadows. <laughs> That's pretty. Okay, and then I also want to just do uh, a little bit of exposure. Oh, no. <clears throat> a little bit of exposure on her right eye. <laughs> Stage left. Because the eye back here has a lot of light coming into it, but this one's a little bit darker, so I'm just going to balance them out. <clears throat> okay. So this photo is by Concrete Limbs on Instagram. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the original straight out of the camera and this is the after with my edits. Yeah, that adjustment brush over the eye makes a really big difference. A little tip from me. Sometimes I sound so Aussie randomly. Wait, did you say 93? I'll do 93. We've been live streaming for like two hours now. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I'm going to edit a couple of quick quickly with my presets that is such a pretty photo oh my gosh look at that location pose lighting wow 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 oh my god i'm having mouse troubles <laughs> i'm gonna bring down the sharpening a bit and bring up i think it's did it start raining maybe yeah, bring up the white balance a bit <clears throat> and the highlights slightly. I think it'll look nicer, a bit brighter like that. And I'm also going to crop in the photo slightly. I love how like these branches are just like swooping in, <laughs> in the corner, but I do prefer my subject being in the center of the frame. I mean, they're still swooping. Okay, so this is Photography by Den. This is a beautiful photo. This is the original straight out of the camera, and this is the after, which I used my Aspen preset for. That's so nice. What was this shot on? 35, guys. I love all the 35mm photos. <laughs> and that's with the 35 Mark One, right? Yep, it's raining. <laughs> okay, I was like, what is that? Is that my computer? <laughs> Uh, 93, 85. Did we do 85? Oh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I love this one. This one's by Taylor Elise Photography on Instagram. What's that? Okay. Uh, so first one I want to do is straighten the image. I guess that's a little hut or house or something in the background. Get them in the center. And I'm actually going to crop her leg out. Even though it's cute, like hinted that she's got it up, but I think it'll look cleaner maybe without the leg. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, blue balls is really nice for the snow, hey? Whoa, that's pretty. Might bring up the white balance a little. Oh, I really want to go back to the snow. <laughs> I think the last time I've seen snow was when I went to Colorado with Dan and our friend Kung. And that was like two years ago now or something. Okay, that really doesn't need too much. I might actually... I feel like maybe the saturation on the red is a little bit too much. Oh my god, I thought that was my mouse that <laughs> died again. <laughs> It was just my tablet. And then the other thing I want to do is, again, this is not going to work <laughs> because of the clone tool in Lightroom. But um, in Photoshop, I would get rid of this little, like, square. I feel like it's a bit distracting. 
heel. Ah, oh, it worked. Okay. Yeah, I like that without the little square. So this photo is by Taylor Elise Photography on Instagram. This is the original. And this is the after with my bluebells preset and a little bit of tweaking. <laughs> um, okay, I wrote some numbers down before. Did we do 40? No, no, that was the wrong one. 23? 33. Yes. 123? 23 oh, this one's cool okay <laughs> this is by marvelous visuals which um yeah this one's gonna need an edit from scratch for sure how do you open all of it okay command this one's gonna be like a bit of a punchy edit one three two i think i wrote that down yeah, I I have that after this one, so I'll do one through two after this. Let's bring down the contrast. I kind of like it with the background disappearing almost. I feel like like a vignette would be cool here. Actually, that looks nice with the correction. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> it's not how you add a vignette. <laughs> vignette, here we go. Just to make a like stand out a lot more. I don't know. I feel the vignette option in Lightroom also looks really kind of fake to me. We'll use some adjustment layers instead. Okay, so let's do an iris enhance. And then we'll do a graduated filter. It's a shame about the blue tack in this photo though. Yeah, I wonder if you had the patience, you could get rid of the blue tack in Photoshop. But I feel like you would be there for quite a while. Um, I find sometimes when I'm editing, I like looking at the little thumbnail. I feel like it helps for some reason. Make sure I'm not going too crazy on things. Let's do one more like here. That's nice. And one more here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to have to use the brush tool for this shirt to get rid of that. <laughs> that's too much I think like a hint of the shirt looks fine okay and then let's use this let's saturate everything right yeah the only thing is oh, that I find so tricky is when you want to saturate like an orange outfit or the golden hour you're also going to affect the person's skin so let's see what we can do in hue. Maybe if we make it a little bit more on the red side and then bring up the luminance of orange. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then we can also do some mid-tone and highlights to kind of help the skin as well without affecting the color of the pencil. Like, that's really nice. And then maybe like, I don't know what color for the shadows. Like a purpley. That's quite nice. Let me see before and after. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so this photo is by Marvelous Visuals. Here's the original and here is the after. Well, oh, that iris enhanced thing is really satisfying to see the before and after of. Um, and then I have 132. Oh, cute. Uh, Alison Co, thank you for donating. Hi, Julia. Thank you for inspiring me for the past. Sounded like I was going to start a video. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Thank you for inspiring me for the past four years. I would love it if you could edit my photo number 70. For sure. And oh, there's like a really cool portrait with two people and um, like some florals in a studio, which looks beautiful. I'm going to edit that next. <laughs> His little face. Uh, <laughs> DJ GC, thanks for donating. 162, or I'll eat my cereal without milk. <laughs> Let me write it. I mean, cereal without milk is not that bad. I guess it depends what, <laughs> what cereal it is. If it's like wheat bakes, you need milk. Yeah, I'm going to actually keep it low contrast. I think I went too overboard with the contrast. And I want to do some lens correction here. Where did I go? Profile. So I feel like the vignetting was a little bit too much. And I'm also going to do an adjustment layer just here because, again, there's like another little, you can see it's like dark and then it goes to being lighter. So I'm just going to bring up the exposure. Just so it's a bit more balanced out. All right, let's bring up the white balance and the tint. And then in saturation, I'm going to bring up the oranges a little and the reds. And the purple. So I love that purple backdrop. I can't tell, is he getting like held up or is he laying down on something purple? It looks really cool. And I kind of, I want to bring the hue of the purple to be a little bit more cool toned as I feel like it would suit his outfit or her outfit better. And then with mid-tones, I want to add some warmth to her face. Yankee Ola Bode, <laughs> thanks for donating. Please do 30. My first time shooting in a studio. Cool. Check it out. And let's see the shadows. The shadows look nice doing a complementary color because you kind of like tie the image all together. So I'll go for like a blue here. Eh. And yeah, I'm going to keep it quite light and airy. I think that looks really nice. So here is, uh, this photo is by Mahmoud Abdulhadi. Abdulhadi, sorry. <laughs> um, this is the original straight out of the camera and this is the after. Very cute portrait. We really need a compilation of you saying hi, everyone, as we fans need that. I did a video like that, actually. It was a... Dan, do you remember? Was it the bloopers video or was it just like a end of year video? I think it was in like 2018 or 19. And I did a little compilation of like 10 different hey, everyone's. It was a lot. I don't know. Um. Okay, so... 
Let's do, there's a picture we're in a studio. I think it was near the beginning. This one, 26. So this photo is by Arnold um, MNTS Moments on Instagram. This is stunning. What the heck? Bluebells coming through. That's pretty. Okay. I really like that actually. I'm going to use that as a base and just bring up the luminance. Um, I feel like I'm going to try using a graduated filter here on the side of the photo. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to use another one here to brighten up the photo. I think the light source might have been up here. So it's a little bit brighter in the top right hand corner and a little bit darker in the bottom left hand corner. So just so it's like balanced out. But this photo is crazy. Wow. I'm actually going to bring the highlights down so it looks a bit cooler. Okay, that's the, I was looking for that vibrancy. <laughs> um, Taylor Sanford, thank you for donating. If you get a chance, could you do 90? It's a self-portrait taken during a rough time. Your videos have helped me get through. Aww. Okay, so this is the before. This is by Arnold MNTS on Instagram. So this is the original straight out of the camera. Such a beautiful photo. And this is the after. That's really cool. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, 199 we have. Uh, thank you for donating. Uh, for Chiquilo. I'm sorry, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. <laughs> Uh, 199, we have a photo by Opozo Photo on Instagram. Uh, so first thing I noticed is the crop. We've got, it's like 16 by 9, so I'm just going to make it back to original. And I'm going to straighten it because the horizon line is very prominent. So I think that's good. Mm. Might even crop in a little bit so we have slightly less sky in this shot. Just like that. Lots of talented photographers. Yeah, I agree. And let's bring up the exposure and bring down the highlights. All right, I think I'm going to edit just a couple more. My eyes are getting really tired. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. here, but the live stream is so enjoyable that I can't leave and go to sleep. Thank you so much, Julia and Dan, for your efforts. Oh, thank you for joining. I can't believe it's so late. Oh, my gosh. I can't stay up late to save my life. I could probably do it to save my life, but, like, <laughs> normally I don't like staying up late. Actually, I actually want to bring down the saturation a little. It 
It's 5 a.m. here. Oh my gosh. I think next time we'll do a s Australian nighttime stream. So this one is in the morning um, in Australia. So it's, well, it's midday now. Um, next time we can start it at like maybe 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. So maybe that'll be better for some of you guys. It's like, I, I don't want you guys to be like sleep deprived, you know? Let's add some reds. I like them reds. Okay, and then I want to try again the range mask and see if it works here. Yep. So that way we can bring down the exposure a little of the sky. Yeah. Oh, I like that with the pinks. And those warm shadows are really nice as well. Okay. So this is by a Pozo photo uh, on Instagram. This is the original before and this is the after. Okay, I think I'll do a few more photos with my presets and then call it a day as I'm getting really tired. Um, but yeah, we'll do this again in like two weeks time. Oh my God, let's do the squirrel. <laughs> How about another animal pick for a change? Oh, oh here it is. Oh, except I don't know if it'll work um, because it's a JPEG, but we can try. Um, so this is by Tusha Dorani. Um, I definitely have to bring down. Definitely have to bring down the sharpening because it's a JPEG. Maybe completely. Oh, it's a pretty low res picture. But it's cute. I'm going to bring up the pinks. Okay. By Tusha Dorani with, I think I put my Aspen brain there, I don't remember what I clicked. So this is the original and this is the after. Um, Arnold Montes, you just edited my photo. I stepped away but came back to you editing it. What an interesting edit. I loved it. Thank you. You're fantastic. Yay. I'm glad you came back in time. Uh, 217. Oh, okay. I need a <laughs> fit. Fit. Oh, that's a nice picture. This is by Philography. <laughs> that's actually a really cute name. I like it. Uh, what shall we edit with? I I like, I feel like a mouthy. We need to warm it up. Oh, that's pretty. That's such a nice photo. Photo. I feel like, what camera was this shot on? There's like a lot of dynamic range. Okay, and then because she's in the snow, she does have a little bit of red cheeks. So I am going to bring the red saturation down just so it's not like as obvious in the luminance to bring it up. That's really nice. Okay. Need a bit more contrast and a bit more warmth. 
Okay, by Philography, this is the before and this is the after with Amalfi. <clears throat> 162 is next. Did anyone take the flamingo photo in the chat? Let me know. <laughs> oh, it was on Sony. Wait, but what camera? Like the A7R4? Because it was, I that was zoomed in quite a lot, actually. Ooh, I like Canyon for this one. That's that's a really nice portrait. Just gonna bring down the highlights slightly, and also. Just uh, straighten it up. That happens sometimes in portraits where the background is crooked, but the person you're taking a photo of is also leaning. <laughs> it's like hard to figure out which way you should straighten it for. So I guess that's with like the buildings, but you could also straighten it for the woman in the shot too. Actually, yeah, I prefer it straightened up for her. Okay, so this photo is by Daniel Yassin95 on Instagram. This is the original and this is the after with my Canyon preset. Okay, next. <laughs> oh, it was an A7, that um, snowy portrait. Uh, next we have number 80. Ooh, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, I've always wanted to find a location like this to do a shoot in. I feel like disposable film will look really cool. It's like a bit of like a grungy vibe. Either that one or that one. I kind of prefer the more desaturated version. So I'm going to bring up the shadows quite high. Just because the light on the side of the bridge is a lot brighter than on the subject. And then I actually want to bring down the exposure here though. New and add another one. That's cool. And then in HSL, I'll try bringing the luminance of orange and red and purple blue orange and red up just so she stands out a little more in the photo so this photo is by Hasina Kassam on Instagram it's a beautiful shot um this is the original and this is the after with disposable film I thought it'd be cool with like you know a grungy look because of like the location it's really nice Okay, next up we'll do the flamingo shot, which I saw somewhere. Maybe I'll go grid while I was importing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at it. Look at it. That's such a cool shot. What the heck? Oh my God. Look. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> oh my God. Flamingos are beautiful. Like they don't even look real wow just a moment please <laughs> i think oh we need something like vibrant oh that looks cool i like that okay let's fix it up a little oh that light as well is that like from a sprinkler or something this photo is magical i'm wondering can we can we heal out this bucket? Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, oh. <laughs> Grab the flamingo's leg. Why are you like this, Lightroom? It's not perfect, but uh, it gets the point across. <laughs> okay. Let's saturate this flamingo. Okay, 
And then I want to add a gradient just here to brighten this part of the photo up. I do like the background looking dark, but I want the flamingo to stand out more. Oh my god. I love her. <laughs> I love her. Okay, so this photo is by Is the Lord on Instagram. And I edited it with I think Aspen again, because it's just like a a natural edit. <laughs> Christopher. Wait, your message was hidden because of your emojis. <laughs> Woo, buddy time. Okay, so this is the before and this is the after. Not a perfect job on the bucket cloning. Again, I would do all that cloning stuff in Photoshop where I have more control over stuff. I wonder if we should crop it in. Oh, it's just so magical. Where is this? Is this like a zoo or something? I wonder. It's just beautiful. Okay, enough. <laughs> um, let's do number 30. Yeah, this one's cool. Is that in a... That's like a mirror, right? Or is that dust? That looks cool. It really matches like the sparkles on her dress too. Um, I'm feeling a bluebells moment for this one again. I do like how that one... Yeah, look at that blue color. So pretty. Um, okay, I'm going to start by bringing up the exposure. And... Mm, I really want to straighten this photo, but I don't want to crop. I love the way she's cropped in this image. Let's just see if we straighten it. I guess it's not too bad. I don't know. I feel like really dominant lines are very distracting when they're crooked in a shot. Wow, I love that. I actually wouldn't do too much else to it. Her skin tones look great as well. I love like the magenta highlights. Okay, so this photo is by Yankee O Photo on Instagram. And this is the original straight out of the camera. And this is the after edited with bluebells. I hope you guys don't mind. I just feel like we can get through like a few more images this way. <laughs> me oh my god i'm living for it <laughs> that flamingo man it's so cute so beautiful they look so otherworldly you know um 184 is next um this is what I'll do. When I finish the stream, I'm going to remove the photos that I edited today and leave all the rest. So that way, next time we do the live stream, it'll be like easier to like see more photos. And also you don't have to like resubmit them. So I'll just keep them here. Oh, this one's pretty. Oh, what are we going to do for this? I feel like an earthy moment. An earthy moment, you know? Oh, okay. Which one? I think this one. Earthy 5. That's so pretty. That's such a beautiful shot. Oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, the only thing, I think we need an adjustment brush for this one just on her face because the sun is hitting directly on her face, but just here, like where her arm is, is already in the shadows. So I'm just going to brush over her face roughly and bring down the saturation a little bit. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. And I do like the low contrast look here, but I will just try and pop that up a little bit. Uh, DJ GC, thank you again for uh, donating 162 girl with pink hair. Also, Dan, you're the man. <laughs> he is. Okay, so this photo is by Tim Celeste. Gorgeous photo. This is the original and this is the after edited with Earthy. I wonder if this, uh, sorry, I know I'm just, I just finished, but I'm just going to bring the blues up so they're a little bit less um, green looking. Um, so 162. I 
already did 162. Girl with pink hair? What? Wait, 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 I'm confused. Am I... Can I read? <laughs> 162? Okay, uh, I don't know. 52? <laughs> Sorry, can you tell me? Am I, am I doing something wrong? Fifty-two. That's a cool one. Okay, I'm gonna straighten the photo. I'm looking at just the railing lines for them to be straight. I love her pose and like this grass and the mountains in the background. Where did you take this? This is so pretty. Please don't forget eighty-four. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, let's see. Florence might be cool. That's like like a bit of a film a film look. I like that. I think we need to warm it up. And pop down the highlights. That's so pretty. And let me just I want to try bringing up the exposure down here. Not too much though. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so this photo is by V underscore Senj24 on Instagram. Uh, this is the original and this is the after, which I edited with Florence. It's a beautiful photo. I love it. Um, Let's do 84. Yes. Okay. I think we need to straighten this up just a tiny bit. That's cool. Mm. I wonder if I can clone that out. <laughs> I'm pushing my luck with the clone tool today. Oh, no. There's like a whole shadow there as well. I don't think so. No. Okay. It's not too bad, though. I feel like mountains looks pretty cool. It's got a nice like red touch, which really suits that brick in the background. But does look a bit too saturated for my liking. Let's see. I feel like there's a little bit of chromatic aberration. Where is that lens correction? Manual differentiate. There we go. So I like it when, yeah, I don't like it when you can see a little bit of fringing. Um, mine is number one guy on the fence, golden hour. Okay, I'll edit that one next. Thank you for donating. I got a hair in my eye again. Okay, and then I think we need to, it's like very bright in the bottom half of the image, so I'm gonna. Add another gradient filter and just bring down that exposure and add a little bit of pinks to the tint. And then I also just want to brighten up kind of this half of his face as well. <gasps> Gina, are you here? Oh, Gina, hey. So I just saw Dan's text message. I was like, what? Let's just brighten. Oops. Brighten that up slightly and I'm going to just again bring down the saturation. There's like a little bit of red reflecting from the bricks here. Yeah, that's nice. Whoa, <laughs> just started bucketing rain. Okay, so this photo is by The Real Sins uh, Cinema <laughs> on Instagram. This is the original straight out of the camera and this is with my edits with the mountains preset. Can you guys hear that? That's really loud. Um, one fourteen, Gina. Okay, 
Oh, I love this. I love the green. Caramel latte on Instagram. Oh, with the XF 23 millimeter. So this was on Fuji. What camera were you using? That's pretty. Um, I like Palm Valley can be really cool. Because it's got a very film, was that word, Kodachrome kind of look to it? I like that. A little bit of pink. And then I just want to go into HSL with the hue on the blues and just bring the blue denim jacket to be a bit more blue and a bit less green. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this photo is by Caramel Latte on Instagram by Gina. So this is the original straight out of the camera and this is the after. That's a beautiful photo. Or is, is that in Australia? It looks really nice. Kodak is Kodak. Yeah, but like, you know, the vibe, like the greens, the deep greens. <laughs> so Dan's got his own chat in, in text messages. Fuji Chrome. <laughs> Um, oh my god, I have to choose a number. We've been streaming for two and a half hours, guys. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like three more. What my photo is 193 now. Okay, you're back. Yeah, sorry. I'll figure that out for next time so the numbers don't all just change halfway in between the stream. 193. Cute. Okay. Um, could go for like a faded kind of vintage look is cool. Uh, this photo is by Caro Frames. And I think there looks like there's a bit of like distortion in the frame. I like the, the bit of vignetting. And let's do... Okay, I'm gonna crop it in a little bit tighter around the feet. Yeah, I like that, okay, and I'll bring up the luminance there. And I'll bring down the luminance of magenta just so you can see like the like the top of her head a little better. And I want to saturate those purples. I love how the, the tips are purple. That looks really beautiful. Um, and then the last thing I want to do is add a... <laughs> I don't even remember Lightroom tool names anymore. An adjustment brush. <laughs> Uh, just to a face here, just to bring up the exposure and the shadows. One tap on exposure. Actually, that's too much. So this photo is by Caro Frames on Instagram. This is the original and this is the after edited with New York. Thought it would suit because New York is quite like a vintage soft looking preset with her hair like kind of matches with the colors. Um, And let's do 194. I think this is going to be the last one, guys. Oh, this one's cool. <laughs> This one's by Dale Gamas Photography on Instagram. Yeah, this will be the last one, but we'll do another live stream in a week or two weeks so we can get through some more pictures. Okay, let's do this one by scratch. Okay, how much can we save the exposure? Quite a lot. Now I'm going to start by balancing this photo out. And I'm going to use a graduated filter just because it's like a bit dark on the top half of the image just to bring up that color. Uh, 
that's cool I've been watching your channel for two years now. I love your content. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I love making videos, so I'm glad you guys like watching it. And I'm going to bring the white balance down even more and try and bring the tints up a little. Okay, I'm actually, I'm going to get rid of the yellows uh, here in HSL. That's cool. Oh, sorry, and I said number one and 103. I've seen you. You've been in the chat, like, this whole time. Okay, next. I really want to matte the blacks just so we can't see. There's, like, a little bit of um, noise in, like, their hair. So if we matte the blacks, you should not be able to see it. <laughs> Wow, more than two hours passed. Didn't seem like it at all. Yeah, to be honest, like, um, I feel a little bit tired from editing, but it doesn't feel like it's been two and a half hours. That's pretty crazy. Ooh, I like that little bit of pink. All right, let's go to the mid-tones, see what we can do. Okay, definitely blue for the shadows, like bluey purple. Uh, I was wondering if in the future Dan could give us some tips on videography. Would love to learn more on that subject and also editing videos. Yeah, Dan, do you want to make a YouTube video? I can do videos on editing video. I edit all the videos for my YouTube channel. But Dan, Dan is the hands on the camera for video. <laughs> okay, I love like what their faces are looking like in this shot. I think, I think we need a vignette. <laughs> Where is it? A vignette. So here I want to make this side darker. Not too much. And then I'll do a new one and I'll make this side darker as well. So I feel like it's really cool that the main light source is like here in the middle. So I want to emphasize that. And then I'll do one more at the top. Okay. So this photo is by Dale Gamas Photography on Instagram. This is the original and this is the after with my edits. Beautiful photo. Maybe Julia and Dan together. Yeah, we could do like, like a video filming and editing video. <laughs> I always, it's like, we can make a video video about video, you know? my shortcuts okay so I think I like mountains for this one because mountains can work like if you've got like a backlit photo it can look really soft and beautiful but if you've got like a shadowy photo it can also have a grungy look to it which is cool I'm just going to bring up the white balance <laughs> that's cool Okay, so this photo is by Ferk Chiquilo on Instagram. This is the original and this is the after. It's a really cool photo. I love those glasses, actually. They're awesome. <laughs> That's cool. And um, I think, uh, was it 103? One o three, yeah. Okay, one o three is the last one. Oh, 
yeah this one's so cool oh my god i love that seashell <laughs> i love how like minimal this photo is it's beautiful this is this is a shot by loon.dd on instagram i feel like my new york preset would really suit this let's go like that soft look i think the original one uh oh and it's a jpeg as well so i'll bring down the sharpening so it doesn't look too overdone. But yeah, I love New York is a very pastel kind of preset, which I love using. That's so cool. And actually, I really like kind of the green look of the sky. Am I might, I'll have a play around and see what it looks like blue. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you guys as well for all your time because I know it's not easy like submitting raw photos. It does take a little bit of time. So I appreciate you guys as well. Actually, a little bit more blue looks nice because you still got the green here and then it kind of has a gradient out to the to the blue. And might just bring that down ever so slightly. Okay, love that. Um, so this photo is by loon.dd on Instagram. This is the original and this is the after which I edited with New York. It's a beautiful photo. I love it. Oh, I love that little detail. You've got like the dots on her fingers as well. That's cool. Any plans for Skillshare? We talked about that in a past live stream. Yeah, I would love to do something for Skillshare. I've also been um, trying to plan out some of my own online workshops as well. It's just, there's such a time consuming like thing <laughs> to work on. And I feel like sometimes I have time and then other times I get like caught up in making videos and just like doing my daily work and stuff. But yeah, it's definitely something that we want to do. Maybe this year we can finally, like, get around to doing it. Love the way you say boke. <laughs> boke. Hi, Julia. 31, I think, is mine. Okay, I'm just going to do Sam's because <laughs> we're always talking on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. 31. And then I'm done. Ooh. I love this. I picked up some new workflow tools watching this. Yay, I'm glad. Okay, what are we gonna do with this? This is such a cool picture. I like mountains. I Mountains is really cool when you want to edit something like pretty, but you don't want it to be too pretty. You know what I mean? But I'm going to do some tweaking. <clears throat> so we need the orange luminance down. Thank you heaps, Julia and Dan, for doing this for us and taking the time to sit and talk with us as well. So nice to communicate during lockdown. I appreciate all the work you do. Thank you. I'm glad you guys enjoy this. It's going to be a regular thing. And then let's saturate those cherry blossoms. Oh, I really want to do a cherry blossom shoot again. <laughs> I already did one. I want another one now. I'm greedy. Mm, that's looking nice. I think we need like a little less exposure on this corner. Okay. Wow, Sam, this is such a cool photo. This is by Sam Kirsten Greep. <laughs> Sorry for the, my pronunciation again. 
um, on Instagram. This is the original straight out of the camera and this is the after that I edited with mountains. Such a cool photo. Also, what a cool outfit. Like, oh my God, that top is so cool. The shoes are really cool. Love it. Oh, the earring. Wow. That's cool. And this is with the A7R4, right? I'm pretty sure that's the camera you use. This was so fun. Yay. Would you consider doing a nighttime after blue hour portrait BTS on your YouTube? Yes, I actually did one recently with the A7R4, actually. I just, um, do you guys want to see that? <laughs> it's like a, it's a blue hour shoot with the A7R4. So it is quite grainy. I personally kind of like grain in my photos. I don't mind them at all, but, um, yeah, I need to work on it. There's so many videos I need to edit. <laughs> Imagine Evie with a cherry blossom. That would be so cute. Actually, we have cherry blossom trees just down the road. Maybe we could take her. She's She wears like a little harness sometimes. And we like have supervised time outside because I don't think you should let cats out to roam the streets because they kill birds and other stuff. Um, but yeah, we could take her with that to, <laughs> to a cherry blossom tree. Maybe she could like climb the tree would be cute. Uh, is it overwhelming keeping up with <laughs> 410,000 subscribers? Um, it's not so much overwhelming. I think the only overwhelming part is that I try to get back to as many comments as possible, but sometimes I just can't and I have to accept that, like, because I really like responding to you guys and I appreciate everyone who takes the time commenting on my videos. Um, but yeah, sometimes like work kind of takes over and it's hard to get back to everyone which is yeah um thank you for editing my picture it was so nice the preset looked good thank you the white dots are traditional part of indian culture Ooh, i like it i feel like it yeah it looked really nice in the photo as well Time to kick your feet up and have a tea slash wine. Thank you so much for your time today. So many beautiful photos. You have a great community. I agree. But I actually have to edit, a, oh, not edit, film a video <laughs> now after this live stream. But at least, like, my hair and makeup's done, so I'm good to go. But yeah, I would love for you guys, if you haven't watched it yet, to watch the latest video that I just uploaded. It's about my favorite focus settings to use on Sony and, like, to be able to capture movement when your subject is moving around and also like to photograph different styles of subjects as well. Um, just like stuttering here while I'm trying to talk. And I also, it also includes like how I have my Sony a7C set up as well. Cause I get questions about that like every day on Instagram and on my YouTube channel on the a7C videos. So it'll be really cool if you guys were to check that out. And yeah, uh, what else? I have a new video coming this week <laughs> as always. And I think that is it. But yeah, in two weeks time, we'll do another I edit your photos. I'll schedule it again so you guys know where it's happening and I'll post it on Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff so you guys know when to submit photos. And if you submitted, you don't need to resubmit. I'll keep all of these here in my Lightroom catalog. There's a piece of fluff flying around in front of the camera. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch it back to me. Hi. Okay, so I need to figure out how to close this. All right, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.